The foreign ministers of India and the Association of Southeast Asian Nations ASEAN held talks on a range of issues including the ongoing Russia-Ukraine war and sharpening rivalry between the US and China on the first day of the two-day meeting in New Delhi on Thursday. India's Foreign Minister S.J. Shankar said the country fully supports a strong, unified and prosperous ASEAN, one whose centrality in Indo-Pacific is fully recognized. A two-day special ASEAN-India Foreign Minister's meeting aimed to review relations between the two sides and to forge a response to the impact of the Ukraine crisis on the economy and security of the region began in New Delhi on Thursday. India is hosting the meeting to mark the 30th anniversary of New Delhi's dialogue relations and the 10th anniversary of strategic partnership with ASEAN. In his opening address at the conclave, India's Foreign Minister S.J. Shankar said that India fully supports a strong, unified and prosperous ASEAN. ASEAN's role today is perhaps more important than ever before, given the geopolitical challenges and uncertainties that the world faces. India fully supports a strong, unified and prosperous ASEAN, one whose centrality in the Indo-Pacific is fully recognized. India-ASEAN ties must respond to the world that we confront, Jashankar said, noting that ASEAN has always stood tall as a beacon of regionalism, multilateralism and globalization. Vivian Balakrishnan, Singapore Foreign Minister, who is co-chairing the meeting, warned of a growing U.S.-China rivalry that could threaten regional stability. ASEAN comprises Indonesia, Thailand, Vietnam, Laos, Brunei, the Philippines, Singapore, Cambodia, Malaysia and Myanmar and is central to India's active policy and its vision for the wider Indo-Pacific. Earlier, the foreign ministers of the ASEAN nations called on Prime Minister Narendra Modi and discussed the ongoing cooperation between the two sides.